Hello everyone and welcome to another installment of the Coin Dictionary. I'm Wu Hu and today we'll talk about this Italian 200 lire coin from 1990 commemorating the 100th anniversary of Section 4 of the State Council. We'll go over the history, the value, the basics, and any other pertinent information about this coin. So let's get started. Beginning with its composition. It's aluminum bronze. It weighs 5 grams. It is 24 millimeters in diameter, 1.6 millimeters uh, thick with a reeded edge, as you just saw up in, up here. We have a, a female head with long curly hair facing to the right. I'm not entirely sure who or what this is supposed to be, uh, but around the outer rim, Repubblica Italiana, the Italian Republic, and down below we have the uh, signature or, or the uh, uh, indicator of the engraver of this coin, Mario Vallucci. We flip this over to the other side. It is coin aligned, as you just saw. This is the facade of the Palazzo Spada, which, with its name down here, Palazzo Spada, the denomination 200 lire, and the R mint mark, which again is the Istituto Poligrafico Ezeca dello Stato in Rome. Uh, the engraver of this side of the coin, his name is down here, that is Eugenio Driutti. Uh, and this building, uh, uh, well, I already mentioned what that building is. That's the Palazzo Spada, of course. Uh, up top, we see Consiglio di Stato, Quarto Sezione, 1892-1990. Uh, that's the dates of the anniversary of Section 4. Uh, now, the Section 4. This endowed the State Council with judicial powers to judge the administration uh, and to ensure that citizens can appeal to an independent judge to arbitrate their disputes with the public administration. Uh, previously, these differences were settled by the administration itself. Uh, this coin uh, was only minted, of course, in the year 1990. It's exceptionally common. 64 and a half million were minted, uh, with, an with an additional 9,400 produced for proof sets. Um, even in MS-65 condition, the best you can hope for for this coin is about $2, according to NGC. But it's an interesting look into uh, commemorative coins from around the world. Anyway, hope that cleared up some information about this coin. I look forward to seeing you next time here on the Coin Dictionary when I've got another coin to talk about. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching the video. My name's Christian, and I own The Coin Dictionary, and I'd also encourage you to visit us at our website, thecoindictionary.com, and on Instagram, at thecoindictionary. And I'd also like to draw your attention to some other helpful coin resources, such as my other YouTube channel, Treasure Town, which does more in-depth videos about coins and collectibles, as well as some resources like coinmeltprice.com, which shows up-to-date Precious Metals Pricing, as well as the melt values of the coins that you own. CoinsMetalsCards.com, which will both be a marketplace and a new source for coins, metals, and cards, as the name suggests. As well as What'sTheGrade.com, which will develop into a stickering service for already graded collectibles. Have a great day, and I hope to see you on some of our other videos.